This scorecard training video will address the necessity of lead stages and the effect they have on lead analytics. As mentioned in the training videos leading up to this current training video, a lead is a job opportunity representing a structure to be built. A lead is not necessarily a new customer or prospect. In other words, a list of leads would act as a bid board. A few reminders leading up to this subject is that you should have your customized lead and project classification set up in global settings under the features option and then under lead and projects. Also, employees have to be tagged as salespeople if you want them to show up on analytic reports and dashboards. There is a special field for that in each employee's profile. Lead stages do not affect the estimates, proposals, or even the prime contracts. Lead stages are maintained at the lead level and are updated frequently throughout the process. Lead stages are used to track the status of a lead. This information can then be used in lead analytics. Note that a lead stage cannot be deleted if it's been referenced in a lead. The last stage analysis trailing 90 days pie chart shown on the lead info landing page will only include leads that have an owner bid due date or a lead stage estimate close date that falls within that range. Corcon lead stages are customizable. To find these, go to the global settings, under feature settings, and under lead in project. Corcon provides lead stages as examples or samples when you first log into your Corcon account. There's also a help article that outlines some recommended stages for the lead status and the analysis. If you'd like to customize lead stages, you have the opportunity to edit, add, or delete. Note that the final stage option should be used selectively. This does play a role in the lead analytics and dashboards. Back to Corcon Home. When you select the lead, lead stages can be updated multiple times. You can do this from the General Information tab. You can choose to view all stages, or you can add a stage. The amounts added are estimates and can also be updated several times throughout the process. Then I'll click Save. Once an estimate and a proposal have been submitted, you will go back and add a stage again. We'll say that it was awarded. And click Save. Back to the Leads landing page. We can view the lead stage analysis from the lead landing page. Let's take a look, however, at the stages of three of the leads that have already been created. If we go over to the General Info tab on this lead and click View All, we can see that the amounts and the stages begin to narrow down up until the point that it's awarded. Again, these numbers do not affect the estimate itself and are recorded as stages or milestones as the process continues. Try another one the General Info tab and View All. Again, as progress continues, the amount is getting more and more specific. If I needed to add another lead stage, I have that opportunity to do that here. And there's a third one. Back to General Info, View All Stages. Again, narrowing down that amount and recording those stages as you go. Remember that several of these are final and that will play a role when we get to the lead analytics. If I go back to the quick links tab down to new analytics, we're going to show only the lead stages for active leads. We'll leave the date ranges set as is so we include all dates. And let's take a look at the second dashboard. It's lead analytics, all stages, summary by classification. You can see we're showing all classifications. We can see how in each case 
estimates are funneled down to a final stage up to the point where it's awarded. In this case, they're grouped by classification. There's a few more on here I can scroll down and the details in this bottom section. I can make this a little more specific and filter down to specific classification systems. We discussed how to set these up at the beginning of this training video. Now we're looking at only leads that have a project type and the different project types are shown. Again, we're just showing how these are coming down to the point where they're a final award or a final stage and the details for those. The visual dashboard can be seen summarized at the bottom. Let's try one more. Go by lead source. Again, visual dashboard, more details at the bottom. If we want to see how these are filtered, there's a filter overview at the top. There are a few other options. And the same is true for the summary. And you can also make this full screen. Let's try a different dashboard. These are last stage summary only. Let's do the one by classification. So our final stages were bidding and awarded. In this dashboard, the summary is at the top. The visual portion of the dashboard will be found here at the bottom. I can do it by specific classification systems if you set those up. So these are lead sources. There's 11 total overall leads, a little over $11 million. And we can see the final stages of those 11 leads. Another dashboard is set up by salesperson. You'll recall that salesperson is a special designation at the employee level and can be added in the employee's profile. You want to designate salespersons selectively. And again, we're in last stage summary by salesperson. And you can see the salespersons here on the left. Back to dashboard list. You have similar analytics based on PM contact, bid contact, and so on. If you'd like to know more about the information in this training video, we encourage you to go to the knowledge base, down to reporting and analytics, and lead analytics. The information in this training video as well as additional details can be found in this set of knowledge base articles.